Kamusta po kayong lahat? I'm Leila. I'm from the Philippines and I'm currently studying in the Information and Communication Engineering program. Namaste. My name is Ushin Panta and I'm from Nepal. I'm studying Information and Communication Engineering. Hello. My name is Paul Eric. I'm from the United States and I am currently studying the uh, Automotive Design Manufacturing Engineering major. Ni hao. I'm Pelun Gao and I'm come from Taiwan. Right now I'm studying in Information and Communication Engineering. Why did you I chose to study in Thailand because I wanted to expose myself to a new culture but not live that far away from home. Honestly, it's rife with opportunity. I like to go wherever opportunity is, like an investor, and uh, economic and uh, political trends all indicate that uh, the ASEAN region is set to become what China was like 30 years ago and uh, you know to be at the center of this all this action is you know it's like setting yourself up for success because i get to travel and explore new places a new culture a new language while being close to my own country at the same time and also there are so many things to do that i never get bored that to at an affordable place so i think that made time stand out for me i love People here, how friendly they are, and the food is very really delicious. And yeah, their culture is very really interesting as well, so I choose to study there. Do you find yourself adjusting to the Thai culture? Well, uh, adjusting to Thai culture, I mean, at first was a little bit of a challenge, but I mean, really, I found it to be a, a blessing, and I mean, Trula has this kind of globalized yet Thai vibe at its heart so that eased me and nudged me into Thai culture and now I mean I love it I mean instead of going to shake somebody's hand I'll just why and say so there you go so I think that it's going pretty smoothly so the Thai culture because I am Asian so our culture gonna be like quite similar but the Thai culture is like very interesting and it is like really fun to like understand how their culture is different from mine. I found out that Thai people are very sweet, very kind and very helpful. So that created a comfortable environment for me to adjust. Since I'm from Asia too, so I know some of the cultures and habits. That was easy for me. However, I'm new to Thai language, so it's a bit difficult to communicate with the locals outside the university. However, they are helpful, so they always make sure they find someone who knows English and then help me every time, so that makes me feel very warm. I feel like adjusting to Thai culture was a very smooth process, not only because I already live in Southeast Asia to begin with, but uh, learning a few basic Thai words make it way easier to get around and it wasn't that hard of a process overall. I chose to study at ISE because I like their innovative approach towards engineering. So here the courses are rigorous, so I'm challenged and I'm motivated to work hard and go in depth about the courses. But at the same time the learning is not just limited to classrooms and it is outside the classes. So I'm here at uh, co-working spaces or libraries or other places where I get to do projects and converse with my classmates. So it's a learning opportunity every time for me. So that is why I chose ISE and I'm glad I did. Uh, I heard from a friend that ISE is very welcoming, very laid back, and yet the curriculum is very advanced and specialized to whatever I want to learn. So ISE is like one of the top engineering school in Thailand, so their course is going to be like instant. So you're going to get like uh, a lot of knowledge from studying here, but still like people and friend professor here is really friendly and really supportive so you don't feel like really grateful when you study here and you get like a lot of um, things back as well. I would say that I chose to study at ISE because the fit uh, was 
was you know, very good and its uh, philosophies, its, its mottos and its, uh, its ethos, pathos, all of those things all lined up perfectly with you know, what I want to do with my life. I mean the major itself, automotive design, manufacturing, engineering was, I mean, it's almost uh, not offered in the world and to be at the forefront of this uh, is a rare opportunity that I had to take and I also find that uh, ISC's course offerings are very rigorous and as someone who's you know uh, gone their whole life trying to in the pursuit of you know excellence uh, I would say that every day uh, learning here is a privilege and being challenged is something great and that's what ISC excels at. I'd like to let incoming students know that the process may seem hard at first, but not only is it worth it, it gets easier along the way, especially after adjusting to the culture, meeting new friends, getting used to the whole environment. Just do it. I mean, I was hesitant at first, but then I did it, and I mean, it was, well, it was one of the best decisions I've made. Uh, I mean, I mean, and with applying, I mean, to regardless of the university, there are only positives from doing so. I mean, the uh, the, be the benefit to cost ratio is so large. Just do it. I have some advices that would be to start early, uh, research about your major and the educational opportunities here, and if possible, I also recommend you to visit the university or reach out to a Chula uh, graduate to get an idea of what. The life looks like actually. So do your best on your test and if you're gonna apply don't forget to like follow the announcements from the, the school like the Facebook page or like the website and yeah do your best.